That's a drive through the offside. It breaks the sequence of dots and nothingness. Oh, that's a beautiful shot down the ground. And that's gone all the way for six. Hail from the same region as Shweb Malik Sialkot, and he models himself a little bit on him as well. Edge and four. Australia had a wide slip, it's well bowled, and uh, so an edge earns. Still finds the gap and finds the fence. You can watch these two players, they're doing it, just feeling for the ball. And then do that. Come down the track and, and make sure you hit the gap and get your runs. But you have to pick your moments. And the question will be, his foot on the ground and holding the ball at the same time. If that's both connected, I think he's pretty well right. It's a good three. Good save from Pete Siddle. No. Oh, nicely played again off the back foot. He'll be looking for two here. And getting it comfortably. Oh, edges it into the gap. He needs three for his 50s on 49. Daly yeah. wants to get to his 50. He gets it now. With a good drive through the offside. So this partnership is working well in uh, RSL. Should be very proud of this. Oh, down yeah. the ground. Hit high. Over cover. Not perfectly timed. Stark has a bit of a chase on his hands. But can't keep it to two. Lion as well. Here he comes down again over cover. That's a wonderful shot. Right to the pitch of the ball and uh, and opened the face of the bat. Played it right over that cover field into the gap. Lovely shot. Yeah, it's quality batting because there is a long off in place. So he had to give himself a little bit of room and so he could lift the ball over those two short covers that you can see in the on the screen there. Get the ball into the gap. That's just quality batsmanship skills. See him just staying leg side of the ball. He's played a lovely straight drive. This time he finds the gap and has middled it beautifully. Very good shot from Sahail here. Probably the, one of the better he's played. He's played quite a few, but this one always looks good when he full face the bat and ball disappears straight down the ground. Absolute classic. Good timing. That's a gorgeous cover drive. That's a smashing drive through the offside. Just slightly over pitch from Peter Siddle. You haven't seen a lot of those sort of deliveries from him today, but on this occasion. Changes the angle, goes around the wicket, just slightly over pitch, but that is a cracking shot. The timing is just superb. Placement even better. Classic. Staggered slip position. That yeah, you've got to admire this cover drive. Lovely piece of timing. Great follow through as well. Very good balance. Ticked so many boxes when he drilled that one. Well, if you want to make a textbook of uh, cover drives, that one gets in, <laughs> in there, doesn't it? Cracking That'll shot. Help. That's a half folly, but it's well put away. Oh, this was a glorious cover drive. So, this is his highest score in test cricket. What a way to bring that mark up. Over pitch from Peter Siddle. Lovely footwork, lovely flow of the bat through the line of the ball. The timing and the placement was perfect. Yeah, that is, that's silly. Silly question. <laughs> That'll tease the man in the deep. It's Mitch Marsh. And slides up and tidies up. Time on beautiful pitches. He was bowling with a beanie in his first game. Now he's back here bowling with a sun hat. Sombrero. Big shot. 
Six. Magnificent play from Harris Soil. On 98. Well, he's in a bit of rush now. He wants to get to that three-figure quickly. Brilliantly used his feet once again. He's been uh, very consistent when it comes uh, in using the feet. Very close to the pitch of the ball and uh, hit it really hard. Oh. There's the cut shot. He'll get his two. Should come back for two. Safraz is encouraging him for the second run. It's a great century. It's a fantastic moment for the left-hander. His first Test match 100 against a quality side like Australia. That's gone fine for four. It's four buys, but in fact, so Yorker attempted at pace and it beat the keeper this time. That's what I meant when I said uh, the tired bodies out there. The, the ball is very, very tired. It's very stiff. You can see that. There is no control. Definitely reverse for Stark, but uh, wavered very outside the leg stump. No chance for the wicket keeper to stop that. Oh, glorious drive. Great on drive from Harris Well. He's played a couple of gorgeous cover drives. This one was as good as those cover drives. Beautifully timed. Yeah, it looks like that Harris knew exactly where the Stark's going to ball. So he did not really lunge it forward. He, all he did was just played with a straight bat and punched it back past the bowler. Gorgeous short. He had earlier played a, a lovely on drive as well. This one mirrored the uh, previous attempt, but uh, once again, great piece of timing. Works it into the gap on the offside too, as the goal should get there quite easily. This is good batting by Pakistan. 450 is raised, 451. Yeah! Oh, that's it, hopefully it is. That's what he was thinking, hopefully I can pick him up, and he does. He's been trying to play that shot a fair bit, trying to cut Nathan Lyon around the wicket. And this time, another good catch for Tim Payne. He's having a good game. And Lyon picks up his second. And Pakistan lose the seventh. Excellent bowling from Nathan Lyon. He really deserves this. He's really toiled hard and long. Far too full to be playing that sort of shot. And real thickish edge. And Tim Payne takes a very good catch there. Lyon celebrates. Wicket number two for him. Good breakthrough for the Australians. The Centurion on his way. Harris to Hale. It's about 110 the score. Seven for four, five, six. And it's a great innings from Sahail as well. We've got to remember that. It's tough going there for the bowlers and the fielding side at the heat, but it's also tough going for the batsmen. Well appreciated by Mickey Arthur and the Pakistan team.